All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you install the latest version of Citron uh, for a Windows PC. Now, this is going to work for Windows 10 and Windows 11. So this is the latest version of 0 0.7. I'm going to be leaving you all the links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of this video. So the first link is going to be for my page. So just scroll down the page until you find the wallpaper of the video. There's going to be two links. The first link is going to be for the Citron emulator download page. The second link is going to be for firmware 20.3.0. Uh, you're going to be needing to create a games folder with NSP slash XCI game files. You're also going to be needing the Visual C++ program installed on your PC. Now, the only things I cannot provide are going to be the prod keys, the games, DLCs, and updates. So you're going to need to obtain these on your own. As for the controllers, you can use Xbox One. The Switch Pro Controller, PS4, PS5, etc. So now for the first link for the Citron Emulator download page. You're going to scroll down the page. This is going to give you a compatibility list. So 1,500 games have been tested. 85% are playable. 60% run perfect. So this is going to give you the game title. Uh, the status, how it runs, uh, the frames per second, and the version of the game. So just go through it. So now we're going to download the emulator. You're going to go to the download latest version. You're going to click on it. You're going to go down to the package section. You're going to download the Windows. Now this is going to be a zip folder. You're going to need to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. So now for the second link, which is going to be for the firmware 20.3.0. You're going to scroll down the page until you find the asset section. And then you're going to download the firmware 20.3.0 zip file. You're also going to be needing it to unzip it using 7-Zip or WinRAR. So this is going to be the Citron Switch emulator folder. So I have the firmware folder the prod key folder and the switch ROMs folder. Uh, I would recommend to put all the folders inside the emulator folder. So that's what we're gonna do. So first the firmware, second the prod keys, third the switch ROMs folder. Just like that. Now we're gonna run the emulator. You're gonna look for the citron.exe file. You're gonna double click. Now we are in the emulator. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, we are going to install the prod keys. So we'll go over to tools, install the decryption keys. You're going to find your keys folder. You're going to select the prod keys, open. So the decryption keys have been successfully installed. Okay. Now we are going to install the firmware. Go to tools, install firmware, find your firmware folder. select folder it's going to install the firmware uh, this shouldn't take too long there you go now you have the latest firmware installed um, if you want to install the updates and DLCs you're going to go over to file install files to NAND you're going to find your folder with your updates and DLCs and make sure you install them Now we are going to go to emulation, uh, configure. So general, everything's fine on this page. UI, same thing. System, same thing. You can leave it as is. CPU, uh, make sure you have it on auto. Now graphics, uh, the API is going to be Vulkan. And then the device is going to be your graphics card. You're going to scroll down the page. Uh, the aspect ratio, 16 by 9. And then resolution, I have mine set to 720 by 1080p. Now this is going to be up to you. You can have it all the way up to 4x or 8x, which is uh, 4k or 8k. So this is going to be all depending on your uh, computer and graphics card. Now advanced graphics, everything's fine. 
audio, same thing. Hotkeys, if you want to change any of the hotkeys. Uh, network, everything's fine. Web, everything's fine. File system, uh, everything's fine on this page. Profiles, if you want to set up a profile. Applets, um, if you want to set this up. Logging, um, everything's pretty much set. Now we're going to go to input. Uh, we are going to set up the controller. Now I am using the Xbox One controller, so it's going to be already mapped out. If you are using a different controller, you might have to map out the buttons. So you're going to make sure that the connected controller is Pro Controller. And then you're going to go to Input Device. Uh, make sure you pick your controller. So mine is the Xbox One. So all the buttons are mapped out. Uh, make sure you save your profile. And then go to uh, Apply on the bottom. And then you can exit. Now for the Games folder, uh, you're going to double click on the Plus folder. You're going to add the Games folder, so Switch ROMs. Select the folder. Uh, your games are going to populate. Now if you want to run the updates and DLCs, you're going to right click on the game. You're going to go to Properties. Under Add-ons, this is where your updates and DLCs are all going to show up. So you can check them or uncheck them. Now to run a game, just uh, double click on the game. And it should load. So there you go guys, that's how you install the latest version of uh, Citron Emulator uh, 0.7. I'm going to leave all the links that you're going to need in the pinned comment of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and on to the next one.